Hello and welcome to yet another video about being intentional, the series of videos based on my book by the same name, which draw specific themes from the book itself, based on your emails, based on your questions, and inform you in very, very brief snippets about the things which you can do in order to increase the amount of intentionality you apply to your everyday life. And today's video is actually quite a significant one because it's from the last chapter of the book which is about being happy. Given the amount of money which we spend every year and the amount of effort which we put every year in the pursuit of happiness, it is a paradox of our time that there are so many of us which are significantly unhappy with our life, unhappy with our situations. Now this is not an easy subject to cover, especially given the format which I apply here and the time constraints which I operate under. However, I will give you one thing which you need to consider. One of the reasons that we are so unhappy is because there's a significant mismatch between our expectations of happiness and the happiness which we experience when we do. And, and I'm going to explain this a little bit better. In the book itself I give an example that if I give you a million dollars and I ask you to organize the best part of your life, you're going to blow that amount putting together a very complex very grand party and the amount of effort planning and everything else that goes into it feeds into the hype which you create for yourself and that then creates a massive expectation of happiness on the day itself and you spend months and months and months preparing and the party is over in maybe a couple of hours. <laughs> Immediately you would feel deflated. No matter how good it is, no matter if it's gone off without a hitch, the amount of effort you put into it, the months and months of planning, goes off without any kind of uh, sort of massive feedback from it because everything goes according to plan and you would feel, well, okay, maybe about it, perhaps even a little bit disappointed because somehow it hadn't, hadn't been better. That example in itself, which is a little bit extreme, I admit, allows you to realize just how expectations, the expectations we use to create our perceived future reality, affect the experience of happiness that we feel when we get into specific moments in the present. So think about this a little bit, think about how you create your expectations, think about how your expectations affect the way you perceive future events when they become your present, and that will allow you then to kind of get in touch with your own core values, with your own core um, priorities and allow you to see how you synthesize the things you do and why you do them. I'm going to have a lot more on this in future videos but I hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Do share it with your friends if you haven't already. Keep your emails coming in. I do appreciate them. Thank you all of you who've been reading the book and have given me so much valuable feedback. Stay safe out there. Take care.